Our team coverage continues now with a closer look at how this all unfolded on Saturday. CBS4 investigator Jim DeFitti joins us with a closer look at whether or not the police officer's protocol was followed. But before we do that, we should warn you, what you're about to see is disturbing, right, Jim? Elliot, it truly is a disturbing video, but we felt it was critical to understanding how things went. Now, we, what we found is that the Miami Beach police appear to have violated their own policies and procedures while confronting David Winnesett, resulting in him being shot and killed by what is commonly known as sympathetic gunfire. Now, let's get the big picture by seeing the video before we break it down. Okay, now let's slow things down and take it from the top. The first thing you notice is this man, a sergeant who is approaching from the other side of the police car. You see his arms down by his side. Now the other person to look at is the officer with the assault rifle. Notice his hand, and it appears his finger is on the trigger. The only time an officer's finger should be on the trigger is when they're shooting. Otherwise, their finger should be outside the trigger guard. Now, as we continue, you see the sergeant on the other side of the patrol car approach Winnesett when suddenly he raises his right arm and fires a taser, striking Winnesett in the chest. Now, according to taser training and Miami Beach's own policies and procedures, before firing the taser, the officer is supposed to announce taser in a loud voice to alert the other officers around him of what he's about to do so they don't mistake it for actual gunfire. But in listening to the video, the officer never announces his plan to use the taser. The taser is fired and Winnesett stiffens and begins to fall backwards, suggesting the taser was doing its job. But six tenths of a second after the crack of the taser being fired, the officer with the assault rifle pulls the trigger and fires his first shot. Seven tenths of a second after that, as Winnesett continues to fall backwards, the officer fires a second round from the assault rifle, killing Winnesett. Now it appears that the officer with the assault rifle was not responding to what he saw Winnesett doing, but was reacting instead to the sound of the taser. It is known as sympathetic gunfire or contagious gunfire when an officer fires his weapon because he believes other officers are firing theirs. And Jim, you said that the officer who was on the other side of the police car who fired a taser uh, under police protocol was supposed to say taser. Uh, it, it appeared like his lips were moving, right. were they? He was speaking to the man, and we listened very carefully to the audio tape. We listened with headphones, we were very careful, we listened to other videos, and we've talked to a number of people who have seen other videos as well. What we determined was, was that what he was saying was, keep your eyes on me, keep your eyes on me. He was trying to draw the man closer to him, but he never yelled the word taser, and that was the critical point in this, this entire transaction. All right. Jim, thank you very much. And keep it right here on CBS4 and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage on the Miami Beach police shooting.